Welcome to YouTube channel Kadam Academy friend this is the second numerical on the D Alambert's principle uh, this is the DOM numerical we have number of examples all on this my YouTube channel please go through the various numerical which are useful to solve in also gate examination so this is the single degree of freedom case we are considering this is the pulley it is fixed in the center O with the weight M capital M and radius capital R this spring is fixed at one end and it is connected to this pulley at a distance of small r see this is the diagram you can visualize and this is the string here mass is connected at this one end of this which is for the this system is connected m okay this is system is there what is the given to you mass of 1 kg this mass of 1 kg is suspended by a spring passing over a pulley suspended by a spring uh, passing over a pulley as shown in figure okay this is suspended here mass m and the system is supported horizontally by a spring stiffness k 1 kilo newton per meter determine the natural frequency of vibration of a system use the data for this one is data is given here okay i will show you that data hmm. and here this is the data given to you see this is the use mass of pulley that capital M is 10 kg radius of pulley capital R is 50 millimeter the distance of spring from center that is small r is 0.35 millimeter this all dimension are given r this small r capital R capital M small m values are given to you and k also given to you what we have to find out we have to find out the fn natural frequency okay these are the given values given data so k m small m capital m k r the k is kilo newton per meter where it's converted into newton per meter 1000 and r value is given in capital r is millimeter is converted into directly meter written here meter okay so this newton per meter and meter this conversion is not given now i'll go for the diagrams okay We'll study the one by one these diagrams. This is the same. This uh, this same diagram here drawn here and shown here the equilibrium position. This is the dotted line that will the equilibrium position. But see, this is the diagram when it is rotated. That is the displaced position. Means what the here this mass is moving linear movement is there. Mass is having linear motion and this pulley is having rotational motion so by using these two the separate uh, we can uh, calculate okay in this case the mass is displaced through the x1 distance what will happen due to this x1 this displacement will create here rotation and this rotated by theta which will be rotated by theta so we can also write x1 in terms of the theta by x1 is equal to this equation r theta okay so this rotating or this uh, moving with the displacement theta so what will happen the rotation velocity means angular velocity becomes theta dot and angular acceleration becomes uh, in this direction and uh, this is the direction for the acceleration okay see this is the direction for acceleration is theta double dot that will create the restoring torque that torque is i o theta double dot in pulley inside the pulley that is the due to the rotation the torque will be created at a distance of this capital r okay so similarly here one more thing is there that spring is connected the spring is connected at a distance of this small r this distance is, is shown small r so what will happen then due to this also there is a force that k into x spring will create force in this direction which will move in this direction 
here in this direction but that value of kx we can write the x is equal to here x is equal to r into theta okay this k x is what here in this case x2 here x2 r into theta here it is written r into theta this x2 is equal to r into why r small this is small r not capital r because it is connected at a distance r from this uh, this center line okay so this spring is connected at a distance r and it is rotated by angle theta okay it is try to move the rotated this theta so you can write here kx is equal to the kr theta so that is the force it is shown it is the force by the spring on this pulley so by using this diagram we can utilizing this d alembert's principle utilizing this d alembert's principle we can solve the equation so we we'll go for the equation so friend here i will show you <coughs> angular displacement is theta already we from this figure this we are drawn here angular displacement is theta linear displacement is x1 for this mass okay and linear uh, displacement for this this uh, linear acceleration so x1 becomes r here r theta double dot x double dot linear velocity for this mass what is this mass is x double dot x dot is equal to r capital r theta dot and similarly from this equation we can write the acceleration r theta double dot this is x1 double dot is equal to r theta double dot so this is for the regarding this one and what will the deflection of this uh, spring deflection spring is x2 and which is equal to r2 r theta it is written here okay so friend here i'll write uh, uh, by using this external by using this d alembert's principle what he says this inertia force some internal torques or forces will be there which is added with this external forces the summation of all this one is equal to zero so according to this we can write here this mx what are these forces on this mass for this mass for considering the mass for this mass we are considered as it is moving the linear in linear motion it is move in linear motion from this mass we can write okay what we can write the summation of this see this is the mass okay i will show this mass here m this mx dot on this side this t on this side so what will happen then m x 1 double dot is the accelerating force accelerating force m x 1 double dot accelerating force plus the t t is what tension on the string which is equal to zero so in terms of t you can write t is equal to minus m x 1 double dot okay this is the value of t suppose equation 1 okay <clears throat> so next step is what we have to find out this natural frequency for this pulley system okay so we have to consider the, the similarly when linear motion of mass is there this pulley is rotating in the motion the pulley motion in rotary motion rotary motion pulley rotated in rotary motion so according to this pulley this according to this pulley from this diagram whatever where this restoring torque this spring force or the spring torque will be there or the tension will be there so we are just considering all this one are writing the same by using the d alembert's principle d alembert's principle okay that i0 theta double dot is positive sign because why is positive because i0 theta is in way anti clockwise what is our sign convention says here according to sign convention see here 
according to sign convention when it is move in anti clockwise it is positive okay and when move in clockwise it is a negative so this is the symbol consider here and we have to solve it for this one okay ah so i 0 theta double dot here plus k x is the spring force into r minus t into capital r which is equal to 0 so why it is minus because t is tension on this side you know on this side on this pulley means it is moving clockwise so it is taken negative value is minus taken minus and all these are in uh, rotated in anti clockwise so it is taken positive so i'll rewrite this equation again i0 theta double dot plus this x value already we have written this x is what x2 x is equal to r theta dot r theta means k into r theta into r minus what is the value of t t is minus x1 minus x1 so minus x1 i will write here minus m small m x1 double dot into capital r which is equal to 0 again right here why why we are written here from this equation from equation 1 okay but we know that this x1 double dot also we can write in terms of the theta that will the on this diagram here this x1 is equal to r theta so we already had written x1 double dot is equal to r theta double dot r theta double dot so we can put it here in this equation and we will rewrite this equation theta double dot plus k r r square into theta minus minus plus m into r capital r theta double dot again r is equal to this r okay zero again we'll rewrite here i zero theta double dot the theta double dot terms will take it on one side m this m is small m okay so this is the small m into r square into theta double dot plus k r square into theta which is equal to 0 <coughs> so friend here what do you have to take i zero common the theta double dot is a common term so m r square into theta double dot plus k r square theta is equal to 0 So we know this i zero value. Let's put it here. We know i zero is what moment of inertia for this pulley. I zero is mass moment of inertia for this pulley. Mass moment of inertia pulley. We can write here half capital M into R square for pulley. Okay, this is for pulley. And let's put in this value in this equation. We get it half into capital M here R square plus small m R square theta double dot theta double dot plus k small R square theta is equal to zero. So third year, what will happen? The small R is for distance. The smaller distance of connected spring, and R capital R is the radius of this pulley. So, so it is not same. So we have to write here theta double dot, which is equal, which is mm, plus theta double dot. This directly I will write here k R square k 
capital M R square divided by 2 plus small m capital R square into theta which is equal to 0. So friend here <coughs> what will happen? So this equation I will write, rewrite here again theta double dot plus k into small r square under uh, in, uh, in denominator m r square by 2 plus small r square okay into theta is equal to 0 this is the value as comparing this equation to is comparing this equation to comparing with this equation of differential equation of motion of SHM simple harmonic motion when we compare with this equation that is the x double dot plus omega n square x is equal to 0 so this omega n and this term becomes we can write omega n square which is equal to here I will write here omega n this term as it is in denominator at capital M by 2 plus small m into r square we can write like this also or we can write here omega n is equal to like this in this term under root of k r square in the denominator m by standard root 2 plus small m into capital r square this is your omega n so what will the fn the fn becomes omega n by 2 pi correct so 1 by 2 pi we can write like this also omega n is this value Let's put it here we will get it k into small r square divided by m capital divided by 2 plus small m into capital r square ok so, so friend this is your answer this is the natural frequency natural frequency for this system already were drawn in this diagram so see this is the natural frequency for this pulley what is the difference in this pulley the difference in this pulley is what so in previous numerical also different numericals we can solve by using the same numerical technique okay i will show you one more numerical here here see this is the one numerical for your solving the assignment for you okay determine the natural frequency of the system for this figure what is the in this case here this pulley is there the mass is connected m the same data is there but in this case the k the spring is connected at the end of this pulley okay this is a simple problem than this one in this case the the in this diagram the k means spring is connected at a distance r from the center o but here it is connected at the end of this pulley means it is simple problem than the, this problem you can solve by using the same numerical just solve just try to solve it and you will success it like this uh, through your self assessment so friend if you are not subscribed my channel subscribe for more numericals this numerical was solved and we got this frequency natural frequency which is equal to 1 by 2 pi k r square this is small r okay this r is nothing but the radius radius for the what one radius for this distance for the r is the distance here see here the, in this diagram you can visualize r is the distance of spring attached to this pulley and capital R is the radius for this pulley 
capitalize the radius for the pulley. Okay, you can visualize in this diagram also. M small m is the mass and capital M of this pulley, mass of the pulley. Okay. And we have derived this equation now till the this step we have derived. Now this data is given to us this spring with stiffness 1000 newton per millimeter and for pulley the weight is 10 kg and its uh, the radius is given 0 0.05 meter and mass with the weight is 1 kg and radius of this distance this r distance is this distance r distance is given to you okay this r distance is given to you in this this is the formula thus we have to put this values all the values in given data here in this same new formula I written here this natural frequency is equal to 1 by 2 pi and root of this k into small r square divided by capital M by m by 2 plus m r square so this putting this k is equal to 1000 and this small r is 0.3 and this capital R here 0.05 capital M 10 kg and small m here 1 kg. The solid we will get we will get the value of natural frequency. This is the final answer for this numerical. Okay, this numerical will be here and with the frequency of 1.4382 hertz its unity in hertz so thank you sir thank you friends if you are not subscribe my channel subscribe it